Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for joining me today, it honestly it means the world that you are here watching my video, so thank you. Um, I'm actually heading off to Ikea and I need to be really quick because I'm going with my neighbour and we're supposed to be meeting outside now. So I thought I'd just quickly check in and say hello and let's go to Ikea. Just gonna do a very quick outfit of the day. I've got my little Uniqlo vest on with the built-in bra. Um, I've just got some Monica Vinader pearls and gold chain necklaces. Um, this is a next linen shirt. Um, trousers are ASOS, I love these, they're so comfortable. And then shoes are the Hermes dupes from Ego, um, which so many of you guys have been loving as well. And I'm so pleased that um, you like them as well. I can't believe like what a good dupe they are in action. And then my little pollen bag that I haven't used in ages, but I wanted a crossbody bag so I could be hands-free in Ikea. And um, I always like to like tie my shoes and bag together. So actually I thought that they worked perfectly. Ikea I make a list and I know exactly what I need to get but today I kind of had a few things in mind like basically that I wanted to have a look at their rugs but I forgot to take the um swatch of oh my god why can't I get my breath out for our sofa I've actually got the swatch of material yeah didn't take the swatch but actually they didn't have any kind of rugs that I really liked anyway. Um, and I wanted to have a look at some cushions, but again, they didn't really have the ones that I wanted. So this is what I did get. I got a couple of these dimper bags, which I love so much for storing clothes in. Um, and they're so, they open up, like they're really wide and they're just massive. So handy for like all sorts of things, but I mainly use them for like storing clothes and stuff but I really actually didn't get that much exciting stuff. I got some new rubber gloves. They look quite cute. They were like cream and like a minty green. Riveting, I know. What else did we get? I got some sandwich bags because these ones are really handy. Then I got this snake for Bertie because I think this is his third or fourth one. He absolutely loves these, but he like, plays with them so harsh that all the stuffing comes out and I'm forever like going around the house picking up all the stuffing. So I got him a new one, so I'll give that to him in a minute. And then, that's actually all I got in like main Ikea. And then at that little food bit at the end, I got some elderflower syrup. I love this for sparkling water and I normally get the bottle green one. And um, I've never tried the Ikea one and I thought that was like quite a big bottle for like, three quid so I'm gonna give that a go. I also got Tom some crispy onions because he loves those and then I just got a big bag of sweets as well. I also need to tell you what happened last night. So it's just weird because I spoke to my mum yesterday the day before and she had told me that when she went to go to bed there was a big spider on her bed and I thought oh my god like I've actually never had a spider on my bed like they've been on the walls I've seen them on the floor and stuff but I've never had one on my bed and then yeah you guessed it last night I go up to bed Tom's still downstairs watching football and I walk in and there's just this massive spider sitting on his pillow I was so shocked that I was like 
and it ran and I was like, oh my God, I don't want to like lose sight of it because then like it cannot disappear in the bed. I need to find it. So then I was like, right, okay. Um, luckily it didn't move. We got a glass and we moved it out, which was fine. I'm not scared of spiders. Like I can do the glass thing and stuff. Like I wouldn't like pick it up with my hand, but then I just felt really uneasy in my own bed. I had to shake everything out because how did the spider get onto the bed? It just like made me feel a bit like bleh. And all night I just slept rubbish because I just kept like every little move, like I just kept thinking, oh my God, what's that? Or like I kept checking under the sheets, I had to keep like shaking my pillows. morning everyone so it's quite a funny way to start the vlog walking down the stairs well, i'm just coming downstairs because also my hair is like really bouncy today i've just styled it with the ghd rise um so that will be over on my instagram soon i've come downstairs because i want to talk to you about the ice bath thing because i've been sharing it on my instagram um, and i've had quite a lot of questions about it and stuff but first of all let's make some breakfast this is my quick favourite breakfast at the moment. The Faye yoghurt. I normally get the 0% fat one, but they didn't have any left. This is strange um, Greek yoghurt, so it's like really thick. I like the Lizzie's granola because it doesn't have loads of sugar in like some of the others. Just do a little sprinkle. I thought this is a four, four seed mix from Tesco. It's got sunflower, pumpkin, sesame, and golden flax seed. I just add some chia seeds in as well because why not? Then fresh raspberries on top. I'm loving raspberries at the moment. They're just, oh, so nice. I love, oh, I haven't got much of this left. The um, peanut drizzle. This is from Whole Earth. I have like actual normal peanut butter for like toast and stuff. But for things like this, I find the drizzle one better. Um, it just adds, ah, I need to get another one of this. And then I'm just gonna do a little drizzle of honey on the top. Then this doesn't look that pretty. But I literally just mix all, oh my God, why am I so messy? Um, mix all of that up. I love sharing any TV recommendations um, on my Instagram because I do watch quite a lot of telly. It's my way of like relaxing and unwinding. So I end up getting through quite a lot of TV programs and films. And I share this one on my Instagram stories over the weekend and I need to talk about it on here. So I watched a film at the weekend on Sky Cinema called A Man Called Otto. The main character is Tom Hanks. And oh my God, I really think everyone needs to watch this film. It is an absolute roller coaster of emotions. It's funny, it's sad, it's happy, it's happy, sad, it's everything. You're crying, you're laughing, and it is so beautifully made. I watched it about five days ago and it just hasn't left me. I just keep thinking about it and thinking of the little things that happen in it. The premise of it is, that Tom Hanks is the grumpy man um, and the kind of estate neighborhood that he lives on. He's going out there telling people they can't park there. He's like neighborhood watch. Like if you do something wrong, he's gonna know about it. He's going through the bins, taking out recycling that people have like put in the wrong bin. You kind of get the character that he is. And then this new lively family move in across the road from him and they don't get off on the best start but this is where they first meet 
and the new family are so friendly and lovely and Tom Hanks is just so grumpy and like and quite rude as well anyway they start making him food and take it round and they really try to like befriend him um and it keeps showing these flashbacks of his life um to understand why he is the way he is now him and the new neighbors eventually kind of form a bit of a friendship but it's a film about love life loss grief there's so many emotional elements in it it's just honestly such a beautiful film sorry i feel like i've rambled on and on about it but please watch it because i feel like it has so many good life lessons in it it's fantastic it's honestly one of the best films i've watched in such a long time it's really amazing so pop that one on your list but let me just give you a warning that you will cry but also you will feel quite uplifted from it as well Sorry, I've been rambling on. I haven't even got to my breakfast yet. If you're looking for another film to watch, also on Sky Cinema this month is a new film called Maggie Moore. And I've only watched the trailer, I haven't watched the full thing yet, but that looks like a bit of a murder mystery, but with like an air of humour to it as well. So I think I'm definitely going to watch that one as well this weekend. I'll leave both trailers linked down below, but please watch A Man Called Otto and let me know what you think. I've got a full day of filming at home today. I need a productive day. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and crack on. Is to talk to you about what you would have seen this morning is our little ice tub bath. It's not actually like a proper one. It's just like a little blow up thing. Not even blow up. Because I started to talk about it in last week's vlog and then I've been talking about it a bit on my Instagram and I've had quite a few questions about it. Um, one of the questions I had quite a lot because when I've shown it on my Instagram, I've shown these like big ice blocks in there. And what how I've been doing that is just using two plastic Tupperware pots, filling them with water and putting them in the freezer. And, and that's just making these like huge ice blocks. So that's been getting the temperature down because obviously it's quite mild. So it's really hard to keep it cold in there. There's so many benefits of it. Just Google like ice water, cold water therapy, but it's supposed to be really good for like stress, anxiety, muscle recovery. Okay, so this is what he has built. So you'd have seen it briefly in last week's vlog. I think he's gonna put like a little handle on the top, but this bit isn't quite finished, but he's just built this little wooden thing out of pallets to put it in. And then this is the tub. It's got a cover and then this little bit, and then it's just icy in there. We've got an old fridge freezer in our shed. And this is what I have used for the ice. So these are just the Ikea like Tupperware plastic pots. And then I've popped um, water in them just to create huge ice blocks. I'm in the middle of my filming day and I've just filmed a reel about navy dressing. And I thought that I'm gonna talk about it on here as well because I really hope that this is quite helpful. And if you're in a styling rut and you're looking to change it up a little or if you find yourself wearing a lot of black and you fancy giving it a change, then give navy a go. It's still got that dark depth to it, like if you feel more comfortable in darker clothes, it's not too dissimilar to black, but it just changes it up a little bit. I think navy has a really classy feel and I've styled up three navy outfits all with the same pair of navy trousers here that I've got from M&S. Um, okay, so the first look that I put together was the navy trousers with a navy and white silk shirt. Just keeping it super simple. My favourite combination ever is white, navy and tan. It's so crisp and refined and sophisticated. I love that. So you'll be seeing kind of a lot of that within these looks. Along with these New Balance trainers, these... This N is actually navy. I don't know if it looks black on camera, but it's actually navy. And I think these trainers go so nicely with the navy outfits. And also, another way, I had a little white tank top on with them. And I had this white linen overshirt on. Um, just super simple, lightweight, easy, flowy with some tan sandals. You'll see like some um, kind of repeat little things in here with the tan accessories. Instead of this white overshirt, you could go with a denim shirt. Two different blues look really nice together. And then another way as well that I've styled it is with this little stripey racer with the H&M button cardi. Just some more outfit ideas and some 
different ways um, that you could be styling your outfit. So maybe a new color that you could um, include in your wardrobe as well. This is the aftermath of today's filming. But I just had to clear that little space for Bertie because he likes to get on the bed. And then I've got this huge pile to tidy up. That is like deep piles of stuff. But I do kind of like the tidy up. This is the satisfying part. I'm also heading into London to shoot tomorrow. So I'm just like planning my outfits and thinking about what I want to take tomorrow as well. Good morning, everybody. Thursday morning. Ooh. Um, and I'm heading into London today. I did my hair yesterday with the rise and then I've just like refreshed um, my fringe and I'm just going to use some of the living proof. I've already used the dry shampoo, but this is the dry volume spray. And I really like this for just adding lots of volume because my hair is quite thick um, and I don't have any layers in it. So I do find sometimes it can be a little bit um, flat. There we go. So heading into London. Well, first of all, I've got to take Bertie Boy to his daycare. Then I'm going to get on the train, head into London. Um, I'm meeting Laura, um, who I haven't seen for years, actually. She's another... Um, I never know what to call us, influencer, content creator. We can do some pics together. Then I've got a meeting. And then I've got such a nice way to end the day. Very luckily, um, a lovely beauty brand is um, has offered me a facial to try their new products. And I'll have that later, which I'm so excited for. Um, so I've packed my little suitcase with a few outfits to shoot. I've got my laptop because I need to edit this vlog. Um, I mean, this is just typical me. I'm always trying to cram too much in. I've got a full day of like physical things, but I've actually got quite Quite a lot of admin -y editing things I need to do today as well. Here is the outfit of the day today. Um, this little vest is really nice because it's it's like um, like a thin knit, so it feels quite nice for like the transitional season ahead. It doesn't feel too summery, and I like that it's a bit wider on the top. Um, it's a bit easier on the bra strap. All of my jewellery, apart from my watch, is Monica Vinader. And then I've got the little H&M Cardi over the top. And then these are um, the Zara wide leg linen trouser. Because to be honest, I thought today was going to be a bit warmer. And I wasn't planning on wearing this cardigan. But um, it's actually started off a bit chilly. So I've just popped the Cardi over the top. Also, these are quite see-through, these trousers. Um, you can see the top of it, so I just need to pull that out. I've just got black sandals and my basket bag. This is the glamorous side of um, street style shooting. We've just found a quiet little corner to get changed, but this is the current situation. I've got the skirt over the trousers. Hello everyone. I'm in a different outfit than you saw me earlier because I've been doing a bit of shooting. Um, so this was my final outfit that I shot. But I'm just at the spa now. Um, I'm really looking forward to my facial, but I haven't got my vlog edited yet. So um, I really want to relax and switch off in my facial, but you know when there's lots of things on your mind that you need to do. This is just classic me. I've tried to fit too much in, do too much, and it's just backfiring. I haven't actually eaten anything today, so I just grabbed a sandwich, scoffed that down. But it's days like this to just remind me I must be... I am normally quite good at time management, but I've just tried to fit too much in today, and it's just backfired, and it's now making me a little bit stressed. This is the reality of today. I'm in this lovely spa and I'm down here on the laptop editing. 